Radio Demon Jr. who would like Thank Alistair you. as an anti-hero. Wait, Is isn't that just... Him? That's just kind of him, but I'll, uh, I'll, uh, check. Uh, this is a good one for everybody. Would you describe Alistair as chaotically good or chaotically neutral or lawfully evil? Um, I'm not as familiar with the classifications, but I would say chaotically neutral. That's my, like, uninformed, off the bat opinion. Casket Antifer says, uh, Alistair reminds her, them of, uh, Ed Gein, the real-life serial killer and cannibal, inspiration for Texas Chainsaw and Psycho. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm familiar with Ed Gein. I wouldn't say, I'd say Alistair has more in common with, like, in terms of, like, real-world stuff, which it is not real-world. He is not meant to be any real-world killer. I'm very against that. Um, but, uh, you know, if he had any similarities to anything, I'd say he's like the Axe Man of Louisiana. Um, though he killed women. But the problem is, like, like Alistair actually didn't go after, he's kind of like, he's more like, he's more akin to, like, the fictional serial killer Dexter than probably anyone. He, does, he doesn't really just go after just anyone. He's got a weird moral code that he follows. Psycho, the ink box, for $10. Can you draw Alistair in a cute onesie eating creme brulee? Did you do that one? No, I did not. I'm going to draw him. I'm going to draw him in a cute onesie. That's cute. <laughs> Whenever I draw him in stuff like this, I always feel like it's Nifty's fault. He's always yeah, he's always doing something right. to like make Nifty happy or something. You don't actually give a shit about this tacky place, do ya? Come on, I know you, you heartless son of a bitch. You are welcome if you actually want to give redemption a shot. 